News of the fashion show spread quickly on Wisteria Lane. Though the event was for charity, Gabrielle soon discovered when it came to the latest fashions, women are seldom charitable. No one knew this better than Edie Britt. She understood that treachery never goes out of style. <gasps> Susan, give me the dress. I gave it a shot. Hmm. Hi, Helen. Hi. How's the dress fitting? Great. Maybe it could be taken out in the shoulder a little. Sure, no problem. There you go. You know, Gabrielle, I, I never thanked you properly. For what? For what you did for my son. It was so nice of you to hire John as your gardener. Believe me, it's been my pleasure. How's he doing? Good, good. I hear he's dating Danielle Vandekamp. Oh, for now. I think it's just a matter of time before they break up for good. What's wrong? Oh, she just seems to want much more of a relationship than he does. You remember what it was like dating teenage boys. Vigley. No, Thank you. you tell that son of a bitch Tanaka that if he doesn't call me in an hour, I'm going to go down to his office, find him, and kick his ass. Ladies. Trouble at work? I don't know what his problem is. He's making money left and right. Just wish he'd relax. Crap. 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 I'm telling you, all of the good dresses are taken. Now, what the hell am I supposed to wear? Well, Mrs. Huber never showed up. Why don't you wear this one? This is an old lady dress. Uh, you won't even be able to see my body. That is so like you, Edie. You're always thinking of others. So, why isn't Mrs. Huber here? Last I heard, she went to visit her sister. I just can't believe that Martha would agree to wear this. She always says she'd never be caught dead in black. Sadly for Mrs. Huber, this was no longer the case.